Good afternoon everyone, so today we're at a Ford Transit and this is a 2020 Ford Transit and I think that's maybe the 2 litre diesel engine Aye. So I'll show you the codes and the, customer, well, the complaint. customer's complaint is the engine management light is on and I also get this message, exhaust filter over limit service now and we also have the add blue light down in the bottom right hand side this one here, which oops flashes for time to time so I'll let you see the codes and we also get this message add blue system no engine starting 474 miles so I never so we've done a full scan using the top down and in order to access this scan I had to connect to the Wi-Fi and the snap-on tool was wanting to do exactly the same so I don't understand that unless it's some online functions so let's go into the PCM we have invalid data received from the ABS. I don't know why that is. Engine oil deteriorated, engine oil deteriorated. Vehicle condition incorrect for particle filter regen. Particle fil filter re restriction force power limit bank one. And particle filter suit restriction accumulation. So what's the cause and effect? And I would say, see this oil deteriorated. I think that would be do something to do with why it wouldn't want to do a regen. But let's look at some of the the pits to see how restricted this exhaust is. So I looked at some of the figures of this DPF and that's fully loaded I would say at 222%. I don't think you'd be able to carry out a, a regen on that. But let's see what else we have here. Distance we could between the fourth and last of the fifth to the last DPF, 1.2 kilometers. Oh, no sure about that. There's an awful lot of data pits here, there's 463. So, I wonder what the pressure is like in the exhaust as well. So I just drew up some pits just typed in. I can't remember what I typed in. But you can see here, that diesel exhaust fluid concentration 0%, diesel exhaust fluid tank level 98%, so there's enough add blue in it, I would say. Uh, exhaust temperature, diesel exhaust... Diesel exhaust fluid tank temperature 14 degrees, no sensor error, no results available. Diesel particular filter inactive. Now here we come down to this one. The diesel particular inlet pressure is 69, 68 kilopascals, so let's rev it, see what we go up to here. Oh, that's high. So you can see we're getting up to 300 kilopascals, too high. So let's reset the oil light and see what we can do for here. So that's, you can see there the add blue light flashes in the bottom right corner. It also comes up only 475 miles available or something like that. Let me see if it does that again. So what we'll do, we'll go into see if we can reset this oil light and I'll get my changed oil. So we'll go into here, can we go into common functions, oil reset, reset the oil online engine. So this is maybe why we need the oil. So online, downloading, please wait. will reset the engine oil service count and value to zero. By following the instructions, a new value will be written to the PCM memory. It is mandatory that the procedure is run to completion fail to result in the oil change indicator illuminating prematurely. OK. OK. Ignition on, engine off. OK. Ignition off. OK. Ensure the ignition is switched off for a minimum of 20 seconds before continuing. Ensure all doors are closed and no electrical accessories are running. This procedure may run several times to ensure a successful reset. OK. Ignition on, engine off. OK. I just want to see if it clears these codes. Ignition off. 
okay oh here we go again okay let's know an engine off okay let's know off oh dear okay so that says okay so let's go and see if these codes clear put the PCM enter come back to you so I went into that and you can see that that code has not cleared engine oil deteriorated because if I go into that fault is currently present uh, let's see this one fault is currently present so resetting the service never changed that I don't know why I've got invalid re receive for the ABS so let's see if it'll maybe do a regen no sure in fact, let's go into OBD and see what the code is in for that. Maybe worth a check there. So I can access OBD actually just from here. So that's handy. I don't need to come back out. Yes. So two DTCs. So we'll enter into that. So read fault code. Perfect filter, filter, filter. So hits suit accumulation. So I think if we go into this menu here, DPF static regen online. So let's try that. Just got to do another download. The cert will regenerate the DPF to reduce the suit load. This service function may be run if D2463 is set, which indicate an overload or restricted. So we'll go yes. The service filter will, will regenerate the DPF to reduce suit load. It must be run if the DTC 2463 must be carried while the vehicle state. The gas temperature must reach this. During the service function, the engine speed will increase. The DPF starter can be take up to 40 minutes. Make sure the exhaust extract is capable, portable fan, and make sure at least one. Right, we'll go to that. Yes. Let's know engine off. Yes, we'll go to that. Right, so the DPF static regions load check, the DPF is just right by an open loop and closed loop suit loading percentage. Maybe if the suit loading has exceeded 100%, closed loop, two, open loop, right, 19%. Right, whatever that means. So, does that mean we can go ahead? No sure. So we'll go OK. If the service will no run, please select the button. OK. So we've got that there, uh, suit loading, don't know what that means, just go OK. So that allowed to say OK. Alright, mate. Right, let's go back in. Let's go back in. I think that was maybe 65. I'll we'll get a your rev. Wait till that comes up a little. Try that. Okay. Uh, so, so it says exhaust above 800 degrees. Do you wish to retry? Okay. Try again. Brake pedal not pressed, accelerator not pressed, transmission in neutral, clutch pedal not pressed, part brake applied. Select continue to begin the DPF regen. If any above, uh, the, the, OK. It's about to begin. The vehicle will remain stationary at all times. The, the gas, right, 800, take 40 minutes. Right, OK. OK. Right, 
ok there we go wait time it's raving so I'll tell you if it works or not at the end So there's plenty of smoke coming out of the thing, that's a good sign. Oh, it's stinking. Poor. So after over two minutes, it says it's active. We've still got these percentage figures, but we're waiting for the exhaust temperature to get up to, is it 600, it says? So, let's hope that works. For 750 seconds, so that must be about 12, 13 minutes. So I thought you should see these closed loop numbers come down, 222, you don't. Uh, open loop, oh that's came down, that was 19, it's now 18. So we're heading in the right direction. Exhaust temperature's 565 degrees, so that's, you want it up to about 600 degrees, get it real toasty. And the range in coolant's at 86, so we're, we are heading the right way, so that's good, that's came down. Just a matter of the waiting, it's a waiting game. So just over... 20 minutes, so we're now down to 13%, but this, oh, we've moved 1% just the other now, so <laughs> 221%, exhaust temperature 590, 86, so it takes a long time this, but the numbers are coming down, I just do hope at the end of this 40 minutes, it's a, it brings that back to zero, oh, it's coming down now, so. Let's hope so. What a waste of time if it doesn't work. Another thing, this is not a great idea. You're actually better just to clean the thing out with some proper e exhaust fluid rather than do this static regen, but I've not got a choice here. I'm kind of stuck. Uh, <laughs> can't move a car in this place. So we're just approaching the 30 minute mark and you can see our closed loop suit is down to 126% and our open loop suit is down to 6% and exhaust temperatures 630 so it is doing its business but see for time to time up the dashboard it keeps coming up with this this add blue fault and i can't see there's no any fault in any module for add blue so oh it's just disappeared there we go the light has disappeared so it's all to be do with the the dpf being blocked so that's good so at least we know now we're, we've not got an add blue fault in fact, I'll show you where the ad blue goes on this. So you open the passenger's door and just in behind here, there's the ad blue point there. But the scan tool showed us it had 100% in it anyway, so that wasn't the issue. We've just got under three minutes to go. You can see that 48% and 2%. Exhaust temperature, oh, 655. That's real toasty. So. It does take a full 40 minutes, this. there's no any shortcuts. So I'll just show you by a couple of seconds to go, see what our figures are. 30 seconds to go and here's our figures, 30% in the closed loop, 1% in the open loop, and our exhaust is 665 degrees. So you'd imagine this, the revs would slow down to cool this exhaust down. But, uh, let's just watch her. Eight seconds. Turn the ignition off. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. Procedure aborted. <laughs> Let's see this. Let's see if they're. The codes have changed. Read fault codes. So that uh, previous fault not present and current, so that's good. That was the oil one. It's moved. Fault not present, vehicle condition, fault not present, are we good to go here? Fault not present, fault not present, so good, so we can clear the codes out now. So, yes, okay. 
Let's get so key off engine on. Vehicle is on, so let's rescan it for codes. So that gave it a clean bill of health. And then let's try and start up. Start her up. Try this one. So he's good as well. So we'll call that a fix. So if you add blue lights on, it's the DPF. We'll scan clean bill of health. And the good thing about the top dawn, I don't know if other tools do this, even though I'm outside subscription, it still uh, allows me to access the online functions. So I know other scan tools block you for that, but so that that's quite decent, I would say. So there we go. Cheers.